Welcome to another Transformers Galaxy Force review. This time we're going to be looking at Live Convoy. So here we have Live Convoy in his helicopter mode, otherwise known as Evac in Cybertron. And he is a not really based on anything, more of a futuristic type of uh, Earth helicopter. Doesn't have really too many gimmicks going on. It's not really well designed because as you can see right here from the side doesn't really resemble much of anything you can see right through it it does have two landing gear sets of landing gear I mean uh, these ones in the front which will fold it and then these on the side which fold up too and neither have actual rowing wheels it does have this uh, whatever you'd want to call it string thing which has to be like this if you want to display it on the stand because I'll show you real quick you can only have like a position like this because if it's down like that unless you really want this anchor thing off to the side it just won't uh, work work or look that good but uh, you pull on this can let it dangle there, let it uh, rescue whatever it wants to, and then press the button and it snaps it straight up, which is kind of funny too. If you have a little person hanging on there, you just. It's not, a, not a very practical, but it's funny if you know what I mean. And then um, that has a button right here on the side, which will spin the blades real smoothly, and it keeps on going for a while after you release the button, unlike a movie Blackout which will stop automatically so it's a, it's a nice little feature there and it does have these others other, uh, ones in the back that uh, move separately on each side which is uh, almost pointless but still it's there and it's a uh, force chip is the color gold so that means that he's the leader of the transformers on earth you put it in there and his uh, missile launchers will flip forward and on top of each launcher you see that buttons to, to, to uh, fire them which is pretty neat it's one of the one of the best uh, uh, one of the best uh, gimmicks in this line for for this toy what's a forced I don't know Force chip activation. I remember them saying that in the cartoon. I don't remember if they have a real name for whatever that's called, but I don't know. Either way, I'm getting sidetracked. Get to the transformation. Go into. Just uh, easier said than done. Snap the top in half like this. And these will obviously become the arms. And just leave that one for now. Actually, we'll, we'll do this. Fold them like that. Just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. And then fold this entire section down. Then rotate the forwards, the, the legs forward like that. And snap it in half. Oh wait, yeah, it's got, it's got to rotate like that, okay. Then you can rotate the legs around, and I forgot how much I hated doing the feet, because uh, they get st stuck way up in there, and it's kind of difficult to pull them down. Then rotate the arms in place like this, and fold them down, and then this will rotate around just to make it a little bit more proportioned classic hand hiding technique panel flip up rotate out the hand like that split this section in half and then pull this back and pull it up to reveal the head and then continue to 
fold this down onto itself. Now there's two ways of actually doing these bits here. In the show, Galaxy Force, he had those wings uh, out like this. But the toy, box, the co any picture you see of the toy in the on the box art, it shows him you be able to fold it down like that. Which looks a little bit better, but I sometimes, when the show was on, when I had these displayed, I sometimes prefer to have the wings out uh, deployed just to make it a little bit more accurate to the character we saw in the toy. But it looks better like this. It looks more like a complete robot. Uh, one thing, you can't really, if but if you do have the wings like this, you can't really have this arm rotated like this unless you want to have it uh, out like that just because this piece here gets in the way so it'll look kind of odd having one arm facing the correct direction and only seeing the side of this one arm you can still use his force chip uh, gimmick here just by folding it up like this and so he does have a his missile launchers in this mode which is actually pretty intimidating looking and still one of the better features than any of the Galaxy Force toys I think only uh, a couple of them are better than it I think if you don't have the uh, Cybertron version of this figure evac I really don't have that one so I don't know the differences but I definitely recommend this any version of this toy uh, not the repaint, so the re there's a evac repaint I think for oh either universe or the movie, the first movie maybe. Either way, there's a couple of repaints of this that give it a different paint job. But I really like this version of it just because it's uh, from the error that is created. So if you can get the Galaxy Force version or the Cybertron one. For a decent price, I definitely recommend it because it is a really fun helicopter uh, mode and the robot boat mode is, looks really good once you have them uh, completed. And it's overall has a lot of gimmicks and it's really fun. So, uh, until next time, thank you for watching.